walking into the next person we're going to hear from. Dr. Kamala is a world-renowned expert in regenerative medicine and she focuses her skills on adipose derived stem cells. Now she's named as one of the top 50 in Terrapin's global stem cell influences and she is number one on the Academy of Regenerative Practices list of stem cell innovators. Like I said, these are the people doing it, folks. Many of us are here to learn about therapies and treatments that we can incorporate into our lives right now. Well, Kristen is the CSO of the US Stem Cell, where she focuses on bringing stem cell therapies to help with degenerative diseases right now. She also led the team in the first ever FDA-approved clinical trial using a cell and, cell and gene therapy approach for working in the heart. Talk about progressive. Let's hear from this PhD candidate. This is why I need my notes. PhD candidate, she has an MS and BS in chemical engineering, and we're gonna hear from her about advancements in regenerative medicine. Please welcome Dr. Krista Kamalan. Thank you. Appreciate being here at the RAD conference, and uh, I'd like to tell you that when I first began presenting about stem cells, it was around the year 2000, and it was at a small conference, and uh, it was just a side topic about stem cells and they said, yes, we'll, we'll let you present. And they put us in a side closet room. And I think 10 people maybe had wandered into the room by accident. Uh, so now it's wonderful to see thousands of people hearing about stem cells and understanding that these are going to change uh, how we live and how we uh, advance our future in medicine. Uh, so the future of medicine is actually already here. Uh, so we are a publicly traded company at U.S. Stem Cell, so I have to remind you of the SEC forward-looking statements uh, due to trading. Uh, we have a comprehensive list of pro products and services. We have a company that's solely focused on training physicians how to bring these therapies into their practices. This is called U.S. Stem Cell Training. Uh, we also have a company called Vet Biologics where we bring these therapies to our pets and horses. Uh, we also have a company called The Clinic. This is where the U.S. Stem Cell Clinic, where we bring these therapies to you. So these are treatments that we are currently doing for patients who are suffering from degenerative diseases or patients who don't want to age at the same rate as the rest of the population. Uh, we also have some therapies that we're bringing through the FDA protocols under the name BioHeart. The concept of regenerative medicine is harnessing your body's own healing potential to reverse some of the diseases that affect us as we age. Every single one of us has stem cells inside our body. And the main purpose of these stem cells is to repair and regenerate the tissue where they reside. If you didn't have stem cells, you could only live for about an hour because your stem cells are hard at work repairing all of the tissue that's getting damaged with every moment as you go through life. There are several sources of stem cells. You can actually obtain these in just about every tissue inside your body. But it turns out one of the most plentiful sources inside your body is fat tissue. So the next time you're feeling bad about gaining some weight, you can just tell everyone you're banking your stem cells for future use. <laughs> so there are a variety of different methods that can be utilized for obtaining stem cells. One of the more common methods that we've seen is using stem cells from bone marrow. And this is one of an older technique that's been around. We've been harvesting stem cells from bone marrow for decades. In fact, the first procedures for bone marrow stem cells were done in the 60s. And we are typically using these for cancer patients, and they're called a, a bone marrow transplant. And these are stem cell treatments that we use. One of the newer techniques is getting the stem cells from the fat tissue. And it turns out we can get about 500 times more stem cells from the fat tissue than what we can get from bone marrow. Another technique that we often see is getting stem cells from the peripheral blood by taking a pharmaceutical drug to make the cells from our bone marrow go into our peripheral blood. Unfortunately, these pharmaceutical drugs can be harmful to our health and in many cases uh, provide side effects that are unwanted. So a much more appropriate and new technique for getting the stem cells is isolating from the fat tissue. And nobody complains when you're gonna take a little bit of their fat tissue. It's a relatively simple procedure. Uh, we also can use techniques called platelet-rich plasma. This is something that we can obtain from the peripheral blood uh, platelets, which are promoting a healing process, and they're really the first responders whenever you have an injury, can be combined with stem cells to truly get a regenerative technique. So the process is we do a mini lipo aspirate. This is done under local anesthesia, so you remain awake during the whole process. We make an incision that's so tiny, about the size of my pinky nail, that we don't even need to stitch it. 
We then process and isolate the stem cells from the fat tissue and then immediately administer those back to the same patient. We can target specific areas. So for example, if your knee is bothering you, we would place the cells directly into your knee. If you want the cells to go systemically, we would do an IV delivery. We're now treating a variety of different indications in our clinic, everything from neurological diseases to degenerative diseases, diabetes, uh, autoimmune diseases, orthopedic diseases, even degenerative disc disease, and general anti-aging. I've been dosing myself with stem cells for about three years. I typically dose every six to 12 months because at every given moment you have inflammation in your body. So utilizing these stem cells to reduce our inflammation can prolong our life and make our life better while we are alive. This is our clinic. Uh, this is where we do a variety of different procedures. We also train physicians who will come and learn these techniques so they can bring the therapies back to their patients. And uh, we also have a C-arm for any procedures required, uh, direct delivery into the back or into specific joints and ultrasound delivery as well. This is an example of a patient who received what's called a stem cell facelift. In this case, we use the stem cells with fat to transfer it into your face to improve the loss of volume, and you can also see the improvement in the skin quality. This is about a six-month time difference from uh, beginning to end. The process takes about two to three hours in clinic. It's a go-home procedure. You are awake during the entire procedure, and this can last for up to five years. So it's far superior than any fillers or unnatural therapies that you can currently get. We can also do hair loss. We apply the stem cells directly into the scalp to help uh, grow new hair follicles and to enhance the ones that are already there. This is actually an experiment that we did where I got some of my friends and family convinced to let me burn their arms to see if I could heal it. And uh, so what we did after burning their arms is we applied a control, which is all the way on the left of your screen, and then we uh, did platelet-rich plasma in the middle, and finally on the end we did platelet-rich plasma plus stem cells to demonstrate how much better the healing process was just by applying the stem cells to the, ther to the burned area. So you can really see what these stem cells could be doing inside your body, healing any damaged tissue. I think this provides a really visual approach to what is going on. I'm out of friends, though. <laughs> uh, so this is an example of a patient with osteochondritis. And you can see on the left side of your screen the lesion, the bone lesion that's present. And after introduction of the stem cells, complete healing of that tissue and filling in of the bone and the cartilage. Um, and this was actually a famous pitcher who has returned to pitching uh, in the Major League Baseball, although not famous to me, famous to somebody. Um, we also do a lot of osteoarthritis. Patients who are bone on bone have no more cartilage left. And what we typically do is directly inject the cells into the joint, allowing for new cartilage growth and healing. Patients will often ex experience a benefit within the first couple weeks of receiving the treatment because the cells are naturally anti-inflammatory. In addition, over the next three to six months, the patients can actually grow new cartilage, and so uh, they can return to things that they haven't done in years because they have greater range of motion, they can return to running or other activities uh, that they haven't been able to do. This is an example of one of our patients. Uh, this is a patient who had severe arthritis, 12 years old, which in dog years is considered old, and uh, certainly would not go up the stairs unless directed to do so. So what we did was injection in three different joints plus an IV to give systemic stem cells. This is three weeks after the injection. She's doing better down, a lot better than this. And this is two months after. Let's go, okay, let's go, come on. Like a new come dog. Let's go. Yay, let's go, come on. We also can do degenerative disc disease, patients who have uh, degeneration along the spine or patients who have herniated discs. And what we can demonstrate is that patients have a statistically significant improvement in their flexion as well as their quality of life parameters, demonstrating increased activity and ability to, again, do activities that they haven't done in years. We've done quite a few patients who suffer from lung disease. 
Uh, in this case, patients with COPD have no ability to breathe because their tissue in their lungs is becoming diseased and degenerated. So what we can do is apply the cells systemically, allowing the cells to go into the lungs and repair that tissue. Patients are demonstrating improvements in what's called their St. George respiratory. They're also in demonstrating improvements in their exercise capacity. We do quite a few heart failure patients or patients who have just had a heart attack by delivering the cells either directly into the heart using a catheter or by IV, allowing the cells to pass through the heart. We can improve their ejection fraction, which is the ability of the heart to pump blood. Patients are demonst demonstrating 10 percentage improvement points in their ejection fraction, which is unheard of. There is no drug on the market that can do this. In addition, we're demonstrating an improved exercise capacity. Patients are walking an additional 100 meters in their exercise capacity test. And just to put this into perspective, biventricular pacing was approved by the FDA with only a 20 meter differential. So we're looking at something that is five times greater than the gold standard for heart failure patients. They're walking an additional football field length. This is going to revolutionize how we treat heart failure patients. We also treat patients who have something called limb ischemia, often patients with uh, diabetes who have poor blood flow going down their legs, and as a result, they develop these terrible non-healing wounds, which often lead to amputation. So when we looked at patients who were on the amputation list and who were requiring to have their foot or limb cut off, we were able to avoid amputation and go to complete healing in 75% of these cases. When medicine has given up on patients, we don't. We know that stem cell treatment can offer hope for these patients. So if you see here, this is after 30 days, this is after 60 days, and take a look at this. This is before and after in the angiogram for that patient. Truly remarkable. And when you put this into perspective, how this can help many patients, we've had patients who have poor blood flow for a variety of different reasons, and most diseases are associated with this lack of blood flow. So the ability to create angiogenesis or new blood vessel formation in your body is truly anti-aging and life-changing. We've done quite a few patients for traumatic brain injury, uh, patients who have had an injury to their head and as a result have decreased cognitive ability or inability to move. We've had patients who were wheelchair bound come out of their chairs. We've had patients who were unable to speak, now speaking full sentences and telling us about the day that they were injured. I want to share with you a patient who has MS, and when she presented to us, she was wheelchair bound, she was unable to do anything around the house, and she said, if I could just get a little bit of improvement, anything, to maybe help my husband around the house, I'm really an invalid and feeling like I can't do anything for myself, and I don't want to live like this. This is after one treatment. Barb is now out of her wheelchair, she's walking with a walker, and the, the physical therapist that is working with her is wiping away tears as she's helping, saying, this is unbelievable. We've never seen such a thing for a patient. We'll continue to do treatments for her. The other thing that we found is very critical, and I think uh, what was misunderstood for a lot of these treatments is that it would be one and done. You would take one stem cell treatment, and hooray, you would be young, and you would run a marathon. Um, and I think this is misleading. I think a lot of times there's multiple things going on in our body, and we have a lot of inflammation. So the ability to come back and do repeat dosing is really beneficial for many of these patients. So what we've done is we have a registered FDA tissue bank where we can store stem cells for you. Uh, we can get 20 to 25 additional doses just from one pole of fat tissue so that we can come back and do repeat dosing if you need it. If you have a heart attack tomorrow, you're not going to get clearance to get a liposuction procedure to get your stem cells. If you have your stem cells ready and waiting for you, you can then get an injection and repair your heart. I want to share one more story with you. This is a patient that presented to us who had given up hope. It was a young boy who had had a spinal cord injury uh, in a surfing accident. And as a result, he was wheelchair bound and had no movement from about chest down limited use of his hands as well. And so every day he would tell his mother, please, I want you to kill me. I don't want to live anymore. And so his mother told us that she would have actual conversations in the kitchen about how she was going to have to kill her son and what would she do afterward. Would she have to kill herself? Would she have to go to jail? And she said, we just can't live like this anymore. And so I uh, said, you know what, let's try this stem cell therapy. And so what we did is deliver the stem cells so that they could access along the spinal cord to repair some of that damage. After eight treatments with stem cells, 
This is him today. We're giving hope to so many patients, and by continuing the treatment, we may be able to get, to, get, to get him back to a place where he's functioning normal and walking normal, a place where he didn't imagine he was going to be a year ago. We've treated over 6,000 patients. We've trained over 600 practitioners. The safety is pretty solid. I think it's time to bring this type of therapy to the mainstream. We cannot wait anymore. Regenerative medicine, the future is here. It's here to stay. It's continuously growing. Patients are looking for therapies with great clinical benefits without the side effects. And they want therapies that are less invasive and more natural, natural without the side effects of some of the pharmaceutical drugs that are actually killing us. We as a field have an obligation to bring these therapies forward. And patients have a right to make an informed decision about how they want to use their body and their cells. We need more funding towards these therapies. I want to thank you for your time, and I encourage you to send me an email. We do a free journal club series where you can uh, watch all of the new data that's coming out and learn about some of these treatments. Thank you again for your time. Okay.